Before we go forward, let's take a look at some concepts and principles. We're going to look at the time period concept, the revenue principle, and the expense recognition principle, which is also called the matching principle. Let's say a company wants to find out their performance. This company wants to know whether they have made a profit or not while they were in business. What could they do? What they would have to do is sell the assets of the corporation, pay off all the remaining debt, and the balance would be returned to the shareholders or the owners of the company. Then the company could see, well, did we make a profit or not? Did we return more to the shareholders than they originally contributed? If they did, they would have made a profit. If they didn't, they would have made a loss. That does not make sense at all. So instead, what we do is we prepare accounting information at regular intervals to see whether a company made a profit or not. As you all know, the financial statements are the information that we prepare. And if you wanted to find the, whether the company made a profit or not, you would be looking at your income statement because that's the one that shows the operations, the results of the operations for a period. Because of that, we have what we call the time period concept. The time period concept says that accounting information is reported at regular intervals. Our basic accounting period is typically one year. About 60 to 70 percent of the companies use the calendar year basis, which means they report their accounting information starting on January 1st of each year, and the ending date is December 31st. So that would be a calendar year. They're called a calendar year company. Some companies prefer to report on a different year, a different 12-month period ending on a date other than December 31st. We call that a fiscal year basis. If it's a fiscal year, all that means is that the company prepares accounting information for a 12-month period ending on a date other than December 31st. For example, Walmart's fiscal year runs from 1st of February to 31st of January. They are not a calendar year company. Why do you think that is? Walmart's a retailer and they have a lot of business going on during the month of December, during Christmas season, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And they typically pick their accounting year end on a time when their retail business is slow. So their accounting year end is January 31st of every year. Apple, and Apple's fiscal year ends on September 30th, it's the end of third quarter. Now, we said that the basic accounting period is one year. However, a lot of companies prepare reports during what we call interim periods. Interim periods are either monthly or quarterly. Some companies prepare their financial statements monthly, and some, st some companies prepare them quarterly. If you are a company that is listed on the stock exchange, SEC requires you to prepare your financial statements quarterly. Not only do you have to pre prepare them quarterly, you have to report them to the public quarterly. The next thing we're going to talk about is the revenue principle. The revenue principle dictates two things, when to record our revenue and the amount of revenue to record. So again, revenue principle dictates two things, when to record and how much to record. Let's first talk about when to record revenue. We, in accounting, we record revenue after revenue is earned. That is, when the goods or service has been delivered to the customer. In other words, if you are the company and you have done your part, your job is done, then you can go ahead and record your revenue. How much is the amount to re record? It is the cash value of goods or services transferred to the customer. Let's take a look at an example for the revenue principle. We're going to take a look at a series of events and then we will identify when the company will record the revenue and for how much. On December 19th, a customer requests a quotation for a job from Oscar Inc. On December 20th, Oscar Inc. quotes $12,000 for the job. On December 24th, the customer requests a discount. On December 26th, Oscar Inc. gives a discount and quotes $11,750 for the job. On December 29th, the customer confirms a job. 
on December 30th, Oscar can complete the job and provide service to the customer. And at that time, Oscar also sends an invoice to the customer. On January 20th of the following year, the customer pays Oscar Inc. $11,750 for the job that they did. So given all these events, using the revenue principle, when would we record the revenue? And how much of revenue would we record in our books of accounting for Oscar Inc.? The revenue principle says that we record revenue when we complete the job and provide goods or services to the customer. If you look at the dates, December 30th is the date that we provided the service to the customer. How much should we record? It's the amount of services provided, which was 11750 So on December 30th, what we would do is we would credit revenue for 11750 because providing services to the customer means that we earned revenue of 11750 And since the customer has not paid us yet, we would record that as an accounts receivable for 11750 which means we, we, are, we are waiting to receive 11750 from this customer for us completing the job. The third principle we're going to talk about is the expense recognition principle. This is frequently called the matching principle. The matching principle says that we need to identify all the expenses incurred during a specific period. We have to measure those expenses and then recognize along with related revenues. The last part, recognize along with related revenues, means after we measure the expenses, we have to subtract, a, subtract them from revenues earned during that period to calculate our net income. So the expense recognition principle says we have to identify all the expenses incurred during a period, whether they were paid for or not, and we have to measure those expenses. So we have to measure how much expenses we incurred, and then recognize them along with the related revenues.